I have viewers. Hi viewers! I do miss Harry while he's away. I wouldn't have normally got to see him that much anyway, because I'm at uni and he's at home, obviously, but I'm in Sheffield at the moment, but I do miss him anyway. To be honest, I get to see him more, kind of seeing him every weekend than I would have done anyway, so it's quite good for me, this whole X-Factor thing. Uh, I think it is not weird, exactly, that all these girls are in love with him. It's weird that he's so famous, rather, but I think girls have always liked him, really, so... Can I call Harry? Um, I'll ring him. I won't guarantee that he'll answer though. So. Yes, I am really Harry Styles' sister, <laughs> and his birthday is the first of February. Uh, is he a pain in the ass at home? Yes, to be honest. It's my little brother. I think all little brothers were a right pain in the bum, not gonna lie. What's Harry's middle name? Edward is Harry's middle name. When are One Direction at the studios? I think they're at the studios quite a lot in the week, but I don't really know. But they're definitely there on Saturdays and Sundays, obviously, so... That's all I can probably tell you. Does Harry have a girlfriend now? No, he doesn't. The press have been printing loads of stuff, which is not true, so... I wouldn't pay too much attention if I were you. When did I last see Harry? I last saw Harry on Sunday night after the show. Was the dressing room rumour true? No, it wasn't true at all. I'm sure if some of you have been to the studios, you know there's no way you could sneak a fan in there and then get to the dressing room or whatever. How proud am I of Harry? Very proud. Imagine how proud you'd be if that was your little brother. No, Harry doesn't have Facebook at the moment. I've I've seen somebody who's pretending to be Harry, a fake one, so I wouldn't even bother with it. Don't give them the satisfaction, little fakers. Is it annoying when people keep talking about Harry? Not really, because, you know, he's on the X Factor. Everyone's going to talk about him, aren't they? I'm just glad that everybody likes him so much. I find it weird that I get attention too. I don't get that much attention, to be honest. I'm not at home now, so nobody really knows that he's my brother, and I haven't told everybody, so only my friends at uni know, really, so I don't really, don't really get bothered about it that much when the week. Have I had anything bad happen to me from Harry being on the X Factor? Um, no, only that I'm really tired, because travelling up and down all the time, but... And I had been keeping all my wristbands on as well, but I've only got one left, actually. I took them off today. I've only got... That's week one Saturday that I've kept on. I'm keeping on the beginning one. I was there from the beginning, but... I had to take them off because there were about 11 today, and it was getting ridiculous. I had no arm left. What's Harry's favourite colour? Yeah, I have... Oh, loads of people have asked me what Harry's favourite colour is. I actually don't know. I'd say, I don't know, blue or green, something boyish. Maybe red, he's a Man United fan. Did Harry walk around naked? Harry always walks around naked, all the time at home. Not naked naked, we don't like that in the house, but... He, just, he doesn't tend to like wearing clothes. He's always flashing his bum to people. It's not very good, really. Has Harry always been a ladies' man? Um. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't know, he's just... he's always been quite a popular lad. Uh, any funny stories? Happy 18th birthday, Abby, by the way. Came back up. Funny stories. Um, Harry went through a phase when he was little that every time we had toast for breakfast, before you toasted the toast, he, we used to let him paint on it with food colouring, so he'd like write on his toast and then have his toast, that's what I used to love to do. That's a nice little story for you. Where's Harry now? Um, I don't know, with the boys or somewhere. Somewhere down London way, I would say. Is it true about Cher and Harry? No, it's all rubbish. I feel sorry for Cher, actually, because they said that she's been with basically everyone male who's on the X Factor this year. I think it's a bit unfair, poor girl. Um, have I met Liam? Yes, I have met Liam and his family. Mm -hmm. 
see. What are his other talents other than singing? Um, to be honest, he can pretty much do everything. I'm quite jealous. He just goes through phases of things. Um, kind of like sports and stuff. Like, it seems like every year he does something different and he can do everything <laughs> sports-wise. But he's good at badminton. But he used to play cricket and football and other kinds of stuff. But he's always been quite good at everything, I think. Have I met Aiden? Yes. My picture is of me and Aiden, so I have proof right up there. Is he a good dancer? I've never really seen him dance, to be honest, but then I've seen like footage of him dancing on on The X Factor when they did their boot camp stuff. You could kind of pick him out of the crowd in his big purple jumper. But yeah, I thought he was doing quite well, to be honest. He'd never danced before, so... Hmm. Best thing to happen to you from Harry's fame? Um. Don't know. I was going into the studios with my family on Saturday, and some fans at the gates went, Gemma Styles, ah! And I was like, God, oh, famous, that was quite nice. <clears throat> Do you ever poke his hair? I would love to poke it. Um, I sort his hair out for him sometimes. I used to cut his hair before he went on the X Factor, and then they wouldn't let me do it anymore, so. <laughs> but. I did. I used to sort his hair out for him. He used to come and say, Joe, my hair's gone wrong and I'd, I'd fix it. <laughs> is Louis as funny as he is in diary entries? Yeah, he's just a really funny boy. He's always... Cracks everyone up. I don't know where he gets his jokes from. Does his hair smell nice? I, I wouldn't know, I don't tend to smell his hair, being a sister. Have I come close to Louis' girlfriend, Hannah? Yeah, I've met her loads of times. She's a very nice girl. Is my hair curly like Harry's? No! This is my natural hair as it dries from being wet, as it would. It's an odd thing. I'm a geneticist. Don't really get it myself. I've got the straightest hair in the world and Harry's got the famous curls. I'm very jealous. What was your favourite moment with Harry in your life? That is a long time of moments. I don't know if I can pick one right now. Does Harry have a girlfriend? No, Harry does not have a girlfriend. Do I fancy anyone from One Direction? No, I do not. They're all like little brothers now. <laughs> that would be very weird. They're all far too younger than me, anyway. Um, on to it, the other night, Harry and Zane had an argument. Is it true? Um, no, I asked him, actually, if they'd fallen out, and he said no, it was just silly. So, How tall is Zane compared to you, and how tall am I? Um, I'm five foot five, I'm quite small. Uh, they're all taller than me, I think. How tall is Zane? Don't know. About five foot eight, five foot nine, I don't know. Is Liam funny or a bit shy? Um, I think he's maybe more shy than some of the other boys. I'm not really sure. He's, I think he's more serious. He seems he's quite mature for his age, I think, Liam. Maybe because he did the X Factor before. But. Do I think Harry will marry you? I'd say it's probably unlikely, but it could always happen. <laughs> How tall is Harry? Um, I actually don't know. He gets taller every time I see him. He's taller than me in heels now, so he's a bit taller. I'd say he's probably about five foot. Ten-ish? I'm not sure at all, but he's still growing, obviously, he's only 16, so... Uh, does Harry get along with all the boys in the group? Yeah, they all get on really well. What studios do they go to? Fountain Studios in London. Did Harry have Facebook before he went on X Factor? Yeah, he did, but then when the audition started going on TV, then he deleted it, because... So, because they weren't allowed to say anything about if they'd got through or anything. And a lot of people, <coughs> like his friends, were going on saying, Oh, well done, Harry, well done, Harry. Which was nice of them, but it was kind of giving the game away, so we had to get rid of it. Is there anyone with curly hair in your family? Um, <coughs> I think my mum's hair's a bit wavy, maybe. But um, my dad's hair's too short to know if it's curly or not, but... I think Harry's definitely the curliest. 
so all the Facebook accounts are fake now? No, I don't think so. I think Louie and Niall have definitely still got Facebooks. But Harry doesn't. Why does everybody have that 1D blue thing on their pictures? Um, I don't know, actually. I think it's just a support thing. Is the rumour about Harry and the fan true? No. If you've been to the studios, well, no, you can't sneak a fan in there. That's just silliness. Do you love Harry's hair? Yes, I love Harry's hair. I'm very jealous of it. I want curly hair. It's very sad for me. Has he always been able to sing? Um, I think so. He hasn't. He hasn't been properly singing for that long. He did. Um, he did some singing in shows in primary school, but then didn't didn't really do any when he was in high school much. But then he got together with his band kind of about a year and a half, two years ago, and then he's been singing since then. And he's obviously very good. Why do I think Harry gets most of the attention? Um, I've seen a lot of attention for all of the boys, actually, so I don't really know if he gets the most, but maybe because he's the youngest. Does Harry have any nicknames? Um, my friend Charlotte calls him Hazza. Um, but uh, the family just call him H sometimes, rather than Harry, but don't know if he's got any more nicknames. Styles? What's Harry's eye colour? I think his eyes are blue, but I've seen pictures recently and they're looking a little bit green, so I think they're a blue-green. We'll go for that one. Have you and Harry ever been to Italy? I've never been to Italy. I think Harry went on a school sports trip to Italy once. Is it true Wagner headbutted Harry? No, I don't think so. Even in the press they said that he didn't actually headbutt him, he only tried to, but it wasn't true. What's been my favourite One Direction performance? Um, I would say either Kids in America, because that was a really fun one, or... Hmm... Or this week's one, because I thought it was amazing. Harry Solo was amazing. It was all amazing. Have me and Harry ever been to Belgium? Uh, I haven't been to Belgium. <laughs> I don't think Harry's been to Belgium. I don't know when he would have been. What does Harry like in girls? Um, well, Harry said himself he likes girls with short hair, apparently, which I didn't really know. But I think he just likes nice girls like anyone. He loved when they sung Torn at Judges' Houses. So did I. I thought that was incredible. Me and my friends watched it over and over again on the like Sky Plus or whatever it was at their house, and I thought it was amazing. Very proud. What did Harry want to be when he was older if he didn't get into the X Factor? Um, I think he wanted to be a physiotherapist, actually, for a while. Or a lawyer. I can't remember. I think he was changing his mind, but he wanted to do physio for a while. Is it true One Direction are going to Ireland on Wednesday? I don't know. I've heard that everywhere. But I, I asked Harry yesterday, because I just kind of wanted to know if he was going to another country. But he said he didn't know, so I don't know. Did Harry have braces? No, he did not. Is he smart? Yes, he's a clever boy. Just did his GCSEs and stuff. He got good marks. We're all very proud. And then we got proud. What hand does Harry write with? He's right-handed. Where did they get the name One Direction from? It was Harry's idea, actually. Yeah. They just came up with it because they had to think of a name for themselves. And... Yeah. No, yeah, that was Harry's idea. So, it seems to have worked quite well. Well done, Harry. What's Harry's favourite football team? Man United is his team. Mm, yeah, that's good. Enough. What is Zane like in real life? Zane is a lovely boy in real life, I would say. How does Harry fit in schoolwork? He's not doing school at the moment, actually, because he just finished his GCSEs, so... And then he didn't start A-levels because of the X Factor, so... Then he's just going to go back and do them if this all doesn't work out, I think. Would he ever date a fan? I don't know, to be honest. Uh, 
Is it true he had an asthma attack last Saturday after the show? Uh, no, he, he doesn't have asthma, so that would be difficult for him. <laughs> he had asthma when he was a baby, but he doesn't have it now. Mm. Does Harry wear glasses? No, he doesn't wear glasses. He wears sunglasses, if that helps. How did Harry learn to juggle? Um, I think he just practiced juggling. <laughs> have I met Niall, Lee and Louie and Zane? Yes, I have. They came and stayed at our house a lot in the summer and then I see them at the weekend when I see Harry. Did I used to live somewhere called Evesham? Yes, actually. I was born there, I think. But I moved when I was like four. So Harry will have been naught or one when we moved, so he won't remember. But Were the boys loud when they were staying at yours in the summer? Yes. It, that is the only answer I can give to that. What's Harry's favourite food? Um. Harry likes mandarin segments. <laughs> Tins of mandarin segments. <laughs> Very strange boy. <laughs> Do any of One Direction smoke? I don't think so. I've never seen any of them smoke. I hope they don't smoke. Smoking's very bad for you. And only Louis is actually legally old enough to smoke. Mm. Can Harry speak other languages? I think he used to do languages at school for a bit. Maybe French and German, but I'm not sure actually how much languages he did. I can't remember if he did one for GCSE, actually. A bit of a rubbish sister, aren't I? Does Harry play any instruments? Um, I think he plays a little bit of drums and guitar. I don't think he plays either of them, like, immensely well. He just kind of plays them for a bit of fun, but... He doesn't... He's never been properly kind of trained in any instruments, I don't think. I think his friends teach him sometimes, because he was in the band and they play. Has Harry ever had a girlfriend? Yes, he has had a girlfriend. <laughs> had more than one girlfriend. But I've never counted them for the people asking how many girlfriends he's ever had, so I, I don't really know. Do me and Harry get on? Yeah, most of the time, unless he's being annoying. What's an embarrassing story of Harry's? Um, don't know really. Uh, once we went to TGI Fridays, and then. Harry ate too much, and then when we were leaving in the car, he threw up all over me. Which I think should be embarrassing, but he just threw up everywhere. It's not a good thing. How could Harry ever be annoying? Very easily. The blue all-in-one that Harry had on that time, was that yours? Um, no. He doesn't wear my clothes. I don't know about him wearing a blue all-in-one. He had that grey onesie that the, the onesie company, or whatever they're called, gave to all the boys. Which I thought they all looked hilarious in. Mm. <coughs> Does Harry just get out of bed without brushing his hair? Um, I don't know. Yeah, kind of, I think so. I think he just kind of washes it and goes like that, and then it goes, oh, Harry. Who do I like the best out of One Direction? Harry! That's a shocker. Do I know Harry's favourite songs? Um, his favourite song, I think, is by John Mayer. I think it's called Free Falling. That's what he says is his favourite song. How's Harry finding the crazy girl attention? Uh, I think he's finding it great, to be honest. I think you would if you were a 16 year old boy, like having all these female fans. I've never been to Bolton. Why do we have different accents? I don't know. A lot of people I say I have a bit of a weird accent. I don't sound like I should sound given where I'm from, but. I think maybe because I was born kind of in the Midlands and then I've lived in the north for the rest of the time, but both of our parents are from kind of the south, so maybe I've just got a bit of a mashup of accents. Do you find it weird that hundreds of people have changed their surnames to Styles? Yeah, a little bit, actually. It's not a bad thing, but there are a lot more Styleses. I've never really met another Styles, and now there's just trillions of them everywhere. And nobody knows that I'm a real Styles. Who's Harry's best friend? Harry's friend Will from home, I think, is his best friend, who was the drummer in White Eskimo. Has Harry ever been to Ireland? Yes, he has been to Ireland. He went to Ireland in the summer with Niall. And they went to Rebecca from Bellamy's 21st birthday party. That's why he went to Ireland. Uh, 
have you seen Harry's gold thong? Yes, he used to have it on just just in the box that it came in on his dressing table. I think he got it for a joke present one time, but apparently it came out of the box when he went to X Factor. Mm, do I have Harry's number? Yes, I do, but you can't have it. Sorry. Ever been to Grantham? No, sorry, I don't know where Grantham is. What Harry's worst habit? Um, doing stupid voices that really annoy me and generally annoying me. That's the worst habit, being annoying. Like cats. Yes, we have a cat. Her name is Dusty. She's a lovely cat. You've got to go now. Bye. I think I actually have to go now as well. I've been on here for an hour and I definitely shouldn't have been on here for that long because this was meant to be a break from doing some work so I need to go and do some more work now. But I would recommend that for more X Factor related info and fun you go and watch The F Factor with Matt Edmondson because I think that's a great show and that's what I might go and do in a bit.